Scientists examine a potential link between steamboat geyser eruptions and earthquakes in Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park is often portrayed as a place of breathtaking beauty rivers carving through canyons, forests stretching to the horizon, and herds of bison roaming the valleys. Yet beneath this calm surface lies one of the most dynamic and volatile geological environments on Earth. Here, boiling pools bubble with volcanic heat, the ground trembles with subtle earthquakes, and geysers burst skyward with almost theatrical power. Among these, none commands quite as much awe as Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world. Steamboat Geyser's eruptions are not just spectacles, they are towering, roaring events that can shoot columns of water and steam over 90 meters, 300 feet into the air. For decades, the geyser has been unpredictable, sometimes lying dormant for years, then suddenly roaring to life. But in 2018, something changed. Steamboat entered its most active phase in recorded history, with eruptions coming at intervals of days or weeks rather than years. At the same time, seismologists monitoring Yellowstone began detecting swarms of small earthquakes across the park. The coincidence sparked a pressing scientific question. Could there be a hidden connection between steamboats surging activity and the park's persistent seismic rumblings. To explore this, researchers have been combing through vast dataset seismograms, thermal readings, satellite deformation measurements, and detailed eruption logs kept by park observers. The search is complicated by the fact that both earthquakes and geyser eruptions in Yellowstone are part of a highly interconnected system with multiple layers of cause and effect. How the system works beneath the surface dot dot Yellowstone single quotes S geysers are fed by an underground plumbing network of fractures, chambers, and narrow conduits. Rainwater and snowmelt percolate deep into the earth where they are superheated by the colossal magma body beneath the park. At certain points, this pressurized water suddenly flashes to steam and violently expels itself upward. What we see is a geyser eruption. Earthquakes here, meanwhile, can occur for a variety of reasons. Some are purely tectonic, caused by movements along faults in the Earth's crust. Others are hydrothermal in nature, triggered by the pressurized movement of hot water and steam through subsurface fractures. These fluid-driven quakes can be small, barely perceptible, but occur in dense swarms. Dot, in theory, a significant earthquake could shift the plumbing of a geyser, rerouting hot water, increasing pressure, and possibly triggering an eruption. Conversely, the explosive release of an eruption might alter the stress balance in nearby rock, setting off microquakes. But proving such a cause and effect chain in a place as geologically complex as Yellowstone is challenging. The evidence so far, Dr. Jamie Farrell and his colleagues at the University of Utah Seismograph Stations have compared eruption records from Steamboat with Yellowstone's earthquake catalogs from the past decade. They have found instances where earthquake swarms precede a change in eruption frequency, and others where eruptions occur in the absence of any noticeable seismic uptick. The patterns are intriguing, but they are not consistent enough to declare a direct link, Farrell explains. It's more likely that both are responding to the same underlying forces, rather than one triggering the other. These 
These underlying forces could include seasonal variations, such as the infiltration of spring snowmelt into the hydrothermal system or deep magmatic processes that subtly heat and pressurize groundwater reservoirs. In some cases, the influx of cold meltwater might temporarily seal pathways in the geyser's plumbing, lengthening intervals between eruptions, while in others, it could increase pressure and shorten the cycle. At the same time, this shifting water movement could lubricate faults and cause small earthquakes. Why the research matters. While there is no evidence that steamboats activity or the recent earthquake swarms indicate an imminent volcanic eruption, both serve as vital indicators of what is happening beneath Yellowstone. The park sits atop a massive volcanic caldera formed by a cataclysmic eruption more than 600,000 years ago. Though another such eruption in our lifetimes is extremely unlikely, scientists monitor every tremor, every ground shift, and every geyser outburst for early signs of change. Understanding whether there is a true link between geyser eruptions and seismic activity could help researchers refine their models of how heat and fluids move through the Yellowstone system that, in turn, could improve hazard forecasts not just for Yellowstone, but for hydrothermal and volcanic areas worldwide. Not for now. The prevailing view is that steamboats roaring towers of steam and Yellowstone's shivering ground are like to siblings born of the same restless parent deep below each reacting to shared changes in pressure, heat, and water movement, but not directly causing the other. And so, as tourists gather in the Norris Geyser Basin to witness another towering eruption, scientists remain just as captivated, watching not only the skyward surge of boiling water, but also the silent shiver of the ground beneath their feet both. Clues in the ongoing mystery of Yellowstone's hidden heartbeat.